Got another question for the rates of reaction playlist. So this is a good one. It's a tricky rates table. Hope you like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why don't you think about doing that? But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So the reason this is tricky is because there's only one of the reactants it's it's easy to find the order for. Uh, the other two you've got to sort of have more than one of the reactants uh, changing at the same time. So we'll start with the easy one. So that's the bromide ion. So I've just highlighted the experiments I'm going to use, experiments one and two. And the reason I've chosen those is because the other two reactants aren't changing. So obviously it's just the Br- minus uh, concentration that's affecting the rate. So in terms of an answer, all we need to do is something like I've done there. So say which experiments we're using, one and two. Uh, say what's happening to the bromide ion concentration. It's going up three times. And say what's happening to the rate. It's also going up three times. So the order for the bromide ion is one. So moving on to the BrO3- ion, you can see I've highlighted the information uh, for experiments one and three. And the reason I've chosen those is because the H plus concentration isn't changing. So there's the information summarized there. So we're just saying that using one and three, the bromide ion concentration has doubled. BrO3 minus concentration has halved. The rate has stayed the same effectively. So it's multiplied by one. So the way we're going to tackle this is using the um, fact that the, the product of the concentration changes uh, raised to their respective orders has to equal the overall rate change. So you can see that the Br minus concentration times 2, but we know it's to the power 1, it's first order. So 2 to the power 1, when multiplied by a half to the power x, so x is the order for the BrO3 minus ion, has to give that overall rate change of 1. So basically what power does x need to be? And our only options are 0, 1 and 2. Well obviously x has to be power 1. Because 2 to the 1 times a half to the 1 does equal 1. So we now know that BrO3 minus ion is first order. So to get the order for the H plus ion, I'm using experiments 3 and 4. And that's because the BrO3 minus concentration isn't changing. And there's the summary of the information. So using experiments 3 and 4, the bromide ion concentration is halved. The H plus concentration has gone up 5 times. And the overall rate is 12 and a half times higher. So we're going to tackle this exactly the same way as the previous one. So basically, what power does that x need to be? Well, it needs to be a 2. Because a half to the power 1 multiplied by 5 squared does give that overall rate change of 12.5. So that means the order with respect to H plus ions is 2. So there's the rate equation and we've been asked to calculate the rate constant so we just need to make k the subject of that equation. So it rearranges to that and now all we need to do is pick a row and experiment. I always go for experiment 1. Uh, put the numbers in and we'll get our rate constant. So k is coming out with a numerical value of 16.4 and the only thing we need to do now is to work out the units of k. So all we need to do is put the units into the expression for k. So on the top, we've got the rate units, moles per decimeter cube per second. And on the bottom, we've got effectively moles per decimeter cube to the power 4. So we'll just cancel that down. So it cancels down to seconds to the minus 1 on the top, moles per decimeter cube to the power 3 on the bottom. And all we need to do is take the units on the bottom up to the top. So that gives units for k of decimeters to the 9, moles to the minus 3, seconds to the minus 1. 